Hey again guys, it's Huge, back with a new video. This video is probably going to be a bit shorter, because I'm only going to showcase the Gobble Dungeon as a Fekka. I lived in this place for a huge chunk of this character's life, probably from around level 70 to 130 or so. This place is a decent money maker, especially once you have the Soul Capture skill. This is basically where I made enough commas where I could scroll my first stat, as well as buy my Soft Oak set. And paired with Butcher and Hunter, this place is mwah, chef's kiss, it's really good. A run takes me about 5 to 7 minutes depending on how crowded it is, because this place can get pretty crowded at times. And as usual, here's the drop tables. At first glance, this might not look very impressive, but considering how fast these runs are and how crazy the drop rate is, like White Gobbly Leather for example, 80% drop rate. It only sells for 36, right? But you'll get 100 very fast in this dungeon. And that's 3.5k commas right there. And that goes for most of the items in this dungeon. The Gobble Horns are an exception. I mean, they have a drop rate of 40%, which is really nice. But I wouldn't recommend selling them as is. You can go to the Osamoda Temple and exchange 100 of Gobble Horns for a small scroll of wisdom, which you're gonna use when scrolling. If not, you can just sell them for more profit. And if you happen to have the hunter profession, you can run this dungeon with a hunting weapon and you'll get tons of meat, trust me. And if you are gonna run this dungeon, I really recommend on you getting the soul capture skill. It's really good here. Well, it's good in a lot of places. But here, for example, if you manage to capture the, the boss soul, it itself sells for like 6k commas and you only need a risky small soul for a 50% chance of capture if you level it up to level 6. And as usual, here is a clip of me actually running the dungeon. For this room, you either need your Burning Glyph level 6 or 5 MP to finish this room in just one turn. I feel bad for this guy. I had to kick him out for the sake of the video, because I really wanted to show you how I solo this.
and this is what I mean when I say this place can get crowded at times. I even activated creature mode just to get this fight. And here you can see me equipping the soul stone for capturing. And how I usually do this fight is just throw down both of my glyphs and then cast soul capture. And there we go, that's 6kk right there. And at the end of the dungeon you get a bow meow as a reward. This you can either sell as is, or kill it with butcher and sell it for even more profits. Thanks guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, or if you think that I missed something, please let me know down in the comments below. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.